We'll do it live. <laughs> Thank you, Tyler. You're up, Tyler. What you get to do? Oh, let's start with simplicity and magic missile. Every one of them. Uh, you mean the two that you can have line of sight on? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and roll your magic missile. Uh, for those of you reviewing who don't play D and D, magic missile is a spell that hits things without any kind of roll and just does a straight amount of damage. Okie dokie, let's see, aha, uh -huh. oh, thank you, you actually put a thing in there for me. Yes, again, all your spells are set up so you can just click on them and go. Okay, and that's, that's, uh, right. So might as well split that in half. Okay, so, uh, you, you shoot, the, you, you raise your hands, and you shoot your three darts of magical energy, and they fly out, and they hit the kobold, and the one kobold goes, oh, my lord, and they both fall over. Oh, it's a telling blow from the first cast of the day. Well done, Tyler. What are the others going to do now? Far too easy. Oh, oh and I just deleted my... Well, I'm after Stone. That's what <laughs> oh, Stone, I, you're up. I, uh, so this is like a full turn, like move and action, right? So I can move again? Yeah. Yes. Uh, every, every turn you get a move. And you get an action, which can be an additional move, an attack. Pretty much anything else fits in that move. In that attack, excuse me. Uh, is, will, will it restrict how far I can go, or no? No, it won't automatically. Uh, you do have to count them out. Gotcha, okay. So, one, yeah, one, okay. two, three, four, five. Yep, okay. Okay, so, uh, are you get, do you want to take a double move? Do you want to do anything else? Uh... See tents, and you can see at least one kobold in the tent turning and looking at you. No, I'll stay right here. Okay, so next we've got the kobolds, and they start coming out. Nice. Oh, jeez. Look there! What? There's a foe! Damn it, what is with these kobolds? <laughs> Can't they grunt or something? Kobolds, grunt, you damn fools! Look, there they are! <sighs> Whatever. And they both go in to attack us. Uh, so as soon as I figure out why I don't have a kobold. What the hell? There's a kobold. Okay, so they booth. Both booth. They booth. They're Canadian kobolds. They booth. They booth. He. He know. So. Go ahead, Stone. Oh, no, no. You were I'm, saying? He. He know. Okay. I'm Canadian well, gonna, too, eh? They're going to start stabbing it with their little daggers. And the dice roll, there we go, finally shows up. Uh, the first one I know misses. I know your AC is not that low. The second one comes in and also starts stabbing, but he takes advantage of the fact that you have a kobold stabbing you to stab you from the other side. And crits you! Oh, no! Wow, that's pretty dastardly. Uh, the kobold ducks down and starts shanking at your, at your legs, and you feel like almost a ghost sensation as the blade passes into your body and you can see like little dribbles of fake blood coming out of you. It doesn't actually harm you, but you do also see against the far wall, you can actually see a little illusionary, like almost like a neon sign. And underneath one of them is the word stone and your hit point total, which drops by four points. Okay. Are you going to decrease it or am I going to? Uh, you were going to. Okay. And the kobold hey, now. Hurt. Okay. Um, what will the stealthy creature contribute to the battle? <laughs> I'm going to... Let's see here. Um, it's five squares I can move, right? You can move five squares, yes. Okay. One, two, three... Or if I go diagonal, am I in range to hit it? Yeah, yeah, you can if you go diagonal. And I still have the one block to go diagonal, correct? Yes. Okay. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to stab that one right, you know, kind of the one that I'm sort of diagonal to. You mean the only one you can reach? Yes, that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, that one, that one. Yeah, that the one. Whole I'm going to ask you to make another stealth check. Okay. Let me find that. Okay. Woohoo! I'm not even going to roll it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, don't click, click on the name of the weapon that you're using. 
They should be in the middle, about halfway down. Oh, sweet. I have a bow. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you all watch the gnome, like, reach for her daggers, and then, like, what's this on my bed? Oh, it's a bow! I'm gonna shoot it with the short bow. <laughs> At close range? <laughs> Just walked up to it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and it looks like she approached them and then drew her short bow. Damn it, Jerry! I look over her uh, and so give her such a weird With that roll, you miss completely. Yes, the arrow sir. fails the distance and hits that tent across the way, and the kobolds are like, huh? Look, there's a gnome! Distraction completed! My character just stares off in awe. Just... Can't the wizard save the foolish little gnome from her bad attack? I don't know if I want to. I look up to the sky. Oh, you want to for the ratings. Uh, I suppose. I throw a firebolt at the kobolds. Okay, which one are you going after? The one near sir? Yeah, the one she just attempted to fight. Attempted. Yes, good choice of words. Okay, that is a hit. Roll your damage. Ah, crap. Ow, oh, how it burns! And it falls over dead. Uh, how much is? I am going to fire every last one of these kobolds, I swear to God. You'll never work in this town again! But they're so cute! Are you moving anytime? No, I'm good. Okay, Stone, you're up. There's little reason to move. Uh, I'm gonna make a uh, goading. At uh, I can make go holding attacks at any time, right? And I can yes. basically make them over uh, and over and over again. Uh, there's a limit number above that. There should be a little ticker that says you're uh, uh, what I called it. I simplified it, and I probably shouldn't have, but uh, you have a thing called Maneuver Dice at the yep. very top. I'm sorry, at the, at the mid right, uh, right? Gotcha. Right sorry. next to your weapon. Yep. Yep. That's how many times you do it per section. <clears throat> All your stuff okay. resets once you finish a section. Okay. Um, I'm going to... While this, while this stuff is low-ball difficulty, it gets worse. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to just give him a regular attack, I guess. Uh, I'm just gonna He's going to get back to the thumping. I wish it was real, so that way the little bugger would learn to act. Ah, it looks like he didn't give it a thumping. That is pretty bad. Well no, done, Dwarven Warrior, I guess. horrible. Are you going to move any? Uh, yeah, I can move him here without taking an attack of opportunity, right? So... Uh, as, lo as long as you don't leave his leave reach, you will reach, not take yeah. an attack up yeah. to Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to stay there. Well, sorry, I'm going to move your, five You feet. fool, you're blocking the little one. It looks like the kobolds are starting to gang up on the bad guys. Or the good guys. It depends on your point of view. <laughs> and they oh, all start yeah. knifing at stone. Yay. And because they all have allies, they're all doing it at advantage. Okay, so that's six damage to stone. He has five more damage to stone. We're at 11 damage for crap. They are rolling. Death by Cobalt. Wow, three more damage. That puts us at 14. Can you I not murder the fighter? I'll be fine. Okay, so you took uh, you took 14 points of damage as the Cobalt literally dogpile on you and just start shanking you. One was going, shank, shank, shank. <laughs> oh my god. He's overacting now. <laughs> D, you're up. Oh no, it looks like he's going to fall soon. Perhaps the gnome can help him out. Can I... If I stealth, can I still move an attack or no? At this point, you cannot stealth. Okay. You're up right in front of them. Okay. Um, I have to get behind them to get advantage, right? Or no? no. Okay. Uh, your sneak attack damage, they only have to be engaged in melee with an ally. So all of them are available for sneak attack. Okay. Are all four of them hitting stone? Yes. Yes, they're all hitting stone. Okay, so I can sneak attack um... Yeah, you can, you can shoot him, you can walk up and stab him. I want to stab it. Okay. So uh, you put your bow back and you walk up and you give him a stab. Okay, go ahead and click your attack. I shall avenge the... 
warrior, fighter, whatever. Gang, okay, roll that damage. And you, yeah, yeah, you just click the button with the with the name of the weapon. And you virtually murderize that kobold. There's a magical shing as your blade passes through its neck and a little, little illusionary head tumbles away while his real head goes kind of faded and foggy. Uh, pretty sure it's not <laughs> other people. And he goes, oh, and he falls over. Ew, get it away, get it away, get it away. Virtual blood everywhere. Oh, <laughs> brutal strike for our little gnome rogue. Excuse me. Excuse me, time out. I need a shower. Adventurers, don't get showers, sweetie. Keep going. I look over and look pretty impressed. Ooh. <laughs> I, I, w I wish I could have done that. The blood in my work clothes. That's what you get for bringing on official clothes. Hack. Tyler. Okay. Let me think here. Uh, let's see. I could go... Question, announcer. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, how soon do I recover my spells after this little scat? At the end of the section. Let's make it nice and explodey. Uh, yes, that I can do. I fireball the cobalts. Okay, Dude. are you using your, uh, your ability to not murderize your friends? Yes, indeed. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, Tyler the wizard has a ability because he is an evocation wizard that allows him to make safe spots in his spells. How many safe spots can you make, Tyler? I can make up to my spell level or my uh, my caster level. Excellent. So he drops a f he can drop a fireball right down on stone and not harm stone or Nisi, but nuke the two kobolds. I'm not even going what? to roll that scene because half that's still going to murder him because they're only kobolds. Indeed. The kobolds look up as you start casting your spell and they're like. Oh, really? Boom! <laughs> virtual cobalt bits everywhere. Virtual cobalt bits on stone. Virtual cobalt bits on mm. D. Cobalt bits go across the campfire. I lick some of the bits on me. Does it, One does of them makes Wilhelm yeah, scream as he does taste so. Taste weird? Ah! Real? Mm. Uh, that's far too appropriate. Sorry, what was that? Start? I lick a little bit of the crud that's on me does it actually uh, taste real no it, it, as soon as you lick it like it disappears as if you were licking it but there's no actual taste uh, oh, oh that's uh, just disgusting uh, uh, i love it hey. that's great for kitty excuse me i really need a shower now please russell oh, but... stop hmm? is it is combat over at this point or are we still got more can we heal stone somehow <laughs> do you have a healer Jeez. You didn't give us one. Ah, it's almost like I designed it that way. Wow. I, I go over. I go over to, to to Nisi and Stone, and I use precipitation to clean them up. Thank you. Well, uh, uh, I I could be dirty. I, wait, how can I be dirty if all the bits went away? Huh? Huh? I made the bits go away. Oh, okay. No, no, they vanished before you did. Yeah, I thought, yeah, oh, did they? Oh. Because I went to no, go lick it. Just the one you picked was gone. Oh, okay. I thought you meant they all went away. Okay, whose turn is it? No, combat's over. Okay. Yeah, combat's over. Explore to your heart's content. You see the, the bonfire there that, they, that the kobolds were gathered around. You see their ratty little tents. Okay, so, uh, Stone, as you go past that last tent, you can see to the south what looks like a sewer grate that has obviously been pried open with the crowbar conveniently sitting next to it. Not like it looks like it was particularly tough to open anyhow, and they're like, it looks like they found the way into the sewer! What horrors await inside as they try to make their way into Adventure Dan's Curious Castle! Uh, uh, guys, uh, uh, I, I think they've tried to open the sewer grate. Can I check it for traps? Traps? Yeah. You know, things that shoot out and go pew, 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 and you go blah, and you fall over dead. If you're lucky, ha, ha. Oh, I'm sorry. That's a disarm. My bad. 